Hi everyone, welcome to Python programming series. In today's class, we are going to discuss about uh, a list here. How I am going to read the list items uh, when we are using program here. Not in the console, I am going to read uh, the data from the keyboard. How I am going to store the data in the list here. For example, uh, if the data items uh, every time the input is going to be like this in a single line, in a single line every time. And then we are going to use that for example a uh, data is one variable the list is going to be represented with a uh, square brackets and I am going to write here map of instead of that we are going to write a list of map of uh, int comma input of dot split of we are going to add the values like this for example I am going to execute it for example, I am going to give the values like this. Any number of values. Simply if I am going to type data, yes. The, all the values what I entered, what I entered are automatically converted into a list here. Okay. And in this way we are going to uh, read the data from the keyboard. In a single line, every time the input, the data items, the list items are going to be placed in this way only. For example, the data is uh, like this the data is going to be like this that means in a different lines for example the data is in the format then simply I am going to read the data here I am going to take the empty list first of all and uh, we have to take here some n is equal to int of input of how many values I am going to enter here how many values I am going to enter we are going to take in the n here for i in range of n and I am going to read every every value here. How many values I am going to read? For example, five values. For example, five values. Yes, five times the loop is going to be repeated. And I am going to add every time. I am going to add every time. What is the value here? Int of uh, input of. I am going to add the values like this. For example, if I am going to execute it, uh, the data is like this. For example, five values I am going to enter and 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter. For example, if I type data, yes, the data is going to be placed like this. But here in the two method, the first one is the best one. The first one is the best one and always the data of the list is going to be in a single line. That is why we are going for uh, this method. Okay, That is why we are, we are going for this method. And how to represent the data, how to display the data, how to access the data. Here uh, there are two different ways. Simply uh, first one is going to be just write print data that's it if i'm going to execute it if i'm going to give the data like this just a minute if i'm going to execute it one two three four five yes the data is going to be display like this that's it but here i am going to display the data by value by value here for example this is going to be print whole data at a time whole data at a time but I want the data item by item here how I am going to execute it uh, we know that uh, the first one is index based index based first one is index based it is most popular uh, popularly we are using in C, C, P, P, Java any, anywhere we are going for index based only in Python also we can use index basing for I in range of length of data how many items are there for example items i am going to add five items then it is going to be working with from 0 1 2 3 4 up to 4 only okay now i am going to print here print of data of i the i value is for the first time it is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then it is going to be display that uh, what is the data of 0 what is data of 1 like this for example if i am going to execute it the values are yes it is going to be represent uh, it is going to be represent one two data of zero data of one data of two like that okay and this is index based method this is the first one first method and it is the best method also and the next one is um, and the next one i am going to comment it and the next one is value based the next one is value base how I am going to represent it he, for i in data 
in the previous example in the previous example here i is the index here but here i is not the index i is a data item for example the data values are uh, like this like this uh, the first time i becomes 1 and the second time i becomes 2 i becomes 3 and like that for example if i am going to print now just simply i am going to print i only there is no need of index here i am going directly what is the value here what is the value inside it for example if i am going to execute the values sorry i am going to execute it it is going to be display all the values uh, in the list but here what is the difference in this uh, in this list and uh, in this index based and value based here i can here i can print what where it is where it is also i can print that means i am going to access here index and also the data but here i can access only the value only the data not the index position here in these two ways i can represent uh, a data from the list here okay uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you very much guys